welcome to this presentation ceremony here at the Ann Hill School. And I want to recognize the marketing manager from Rubis, Ms. Andrea Gooden. She's accompanied by its, a team of persons from Rubis, Amina Green, Imram Phillips, and Gabrielle Barrow. I want to acknowledge the presence of the principal, Ms. Isbell and her teachers and students here at the Ann Hill. Members of the media, good afternoon. It is a pleasure to be here at the Ann Hill School for this presentation of devices. We had Rubis reach out to the Ministry of Education asking us what we wanted, especially for the special needs school. And they agreed to the donation of 20 iPads and I also told them that there were several students who did not have Wi-Fi access and therefore they made sure that we had devices. They partnered with Digicel for devices so those students could also get the MiFi devices so that they would be able to get Wi-Fi. So it is a pleasure being here to accept these devices. I am sure Mrs. Bell and her students will, are immensely grateful, but I'll invite the marketing manager now, Ms. Gooden, to bring some comments. Ms. Gooden? Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, Miss um, Adamson, Chief Education Officer, and Mrs. Bell, and also to the students here at Anne Hill. Um, it's really with great pleasure um, that we visit the Anne Hill School today to make this presentation. When the country shut down in April, we felt a strong need, we at Rubis, to support the Eastern Caribbean countries in which we operate, from Antigua in the north down to Suriname in the south. Initially, our donations included the supply of vital PPE equipment to the various ministries of health, including here in Barbados. As the pandemic progressed, we also looked to see how we could assist other important social initiatives, which includes the reason why we're here today at Anne Hill. Our donations in the Eastern Caribbean have actually exceeded 110,000 US dollars, and Rubis is completely committed to continued support across the region. Here in Barbados, as Mrs. Adamson said, we spoke to the ministry quite early on when the online learning had started. And we heard the call to donate devices to support at the time they were asking up to 10,000 um, plus students who had no access to the online learning. In addition, we're very cognizant that there are students that don't have access to internet at home either. We saw this as an opportunity to support the long-term investment in our students and also in remote teaching, which we understand will become a more common feature in the school curriculum. Our discussions with the Ministry revealed that additional support was required here for the students at Anne Hill. And they actually requested specifically Apple iPads rather than traditional tablets, which have more accessibility for special needs children. Often special needs children are visual learners, and so by using the visual content to provide the learning to them, we're providing them with the option to learn by watching, listening, reading, to help them develop their knowledge and skills. So we're pleased here, as Ms. Adamson said, to donate 20 Apple iPads. We hope that as they continue their online learning this month, and also to take a well-deserved break over the summer period, that the devices are a great learning tool, and I'm sure they'll offer some fun relief as well. In addition, we're pleased to donate 12 MiFi devices with two gig data for three months. So that will take them online. There's no point having these devices if the children can't get online. But for those children that don't, it provides them an access to go online, um, to do their learning, to do their own um, investigations, whatever else they want to do online at home. During the vacation, during the rest of this term and also at the beginning of term one. We wish to also thank the iShop and Digicel for their assistance in helping us to source these items. And we wish the wonderful students at Anne Hill all the best as they reach for the stars. Thank you. Good afternoon, uh, Chief 
Education Officer, Mrs. Adamson, Mrs. Ms. Andrea Gooden Marketing, our manager from Rubes, uh, members of the media, invited guests, staff, students. We are really um, enthused and thankful for the presentation of technology equipment that we've received here this afternoon. Um, from the onset when we would have gone online, it was very um, apparent that this was not going to be just uh, two weeks of being at home or something like that. We were in it for the long haul. So we, the staff, would have undergone some training in the technologies that we would have been using. But there was still a lack. There were still some students who were not able to um, access the platform that we were using because of limited resources. So indeed this afternoon's presentation will go a long way in helping to give our students an opportunity to gain the skills and the um, expertise or some form of um, practice also in using this new form of technology as we build and go forward in the new school year. So we want to say thank you to all the contributing partners, Rubis, especially thank you so much for joining us as one of our community partners now in education for our students as they continue to be the best that they can be. Thank you very much.